1990s was banging. Let's be honest, 90s motocross was banging, films were banging, music was banging. Motocross was at its prime, two strokes were at its prime. What an era to experience, you know. GPs were absolutely rammed, people were just over the fence, cheering wildly. The Outdoor Nationals was awesome to watch. The Supercross was awesome, awesome to watch. We'd just come out of the era of Dave Fort winning in 1989. You know, people were at the, at the point the end. Britain was at the point the end as well in the GP scene. Today, what have we been doing? We've been riding a 1990 KX 250 two-stroke. Everything just flashed back to that, to that era. It's just so much fun. You know, just starting the bike, listening to how crisp it is, the little foot pegs, the wide seat, riding it around, how comfortable it is and how easy it is to turn, the front brake fading away. You can just see why this scene is just growing hugely and everybody wants a piece of it. <laughs> As for the bike itself, you know, the power that it produces and the way that it delivers it to the ground is still just on point. You know, it handled the bumps, the suspension was a little bit on the soft side, but so was the seat. And it just allows you just to sit into places where normally you couldn't, you could still have the option to, to stand and to charge the bike in. But to a normal modern 250, yeah, the power run out a little bit early. But it didn't matter because the power and the drive and the delivery that it had when you was coming up to the jumps, you know, it's still easy just to pop you over the jumps and accelerate hard out of those turns and just get the bike low. At the end of the day, you know, you, you, could, you ride within the ability and you can still push this bike. You can't push it as much as you can do on a modern bike, for sure, that's, that's a disadvantage. But the modern bikes and the way that everything's moved on and the development train, you know, you have got a question sometimes whether whether it needed to move on that much, you know, and whether it, if it did actually stay there and bike prices and bike prices had stayed pretty down so it was affordable, then we'd, we'd start seeing more and more people riding. You know, we're looking at bike prices of the day and they're just sky high. And obviously it is getting a sport for a niche market. You can just see why the, why the old scene, why the Evos, why people are just wanting to buy old two strokes and just go racing. Mm -hmm.